There is one thing all of us in this room know for certain. That is, if we are lucky enough, we will get to grow old. And depending on your lifestyle, some of the most common afflictions you will be faced with are bone loss and joint pain. My name is Mihaela, and the reason I'm here today is to offer you with two future alternatives. Let's say you are in your 20s or your 30s, and you start experiencing knee pain due to wear and tear of the cartilage that protects your knee joint. Currently, when the, tra when the trauma is not that severe, physicians will recommend medication or physiotherapy to help alleviate your pain. However, because cartilage does not quite regenerate in adults, the condition is allowed to continue until it is extensive enough to require a total knee replacement surgery. This is typically done using an artificial implant that has a lifespan of about 7 to 12 years. And unfortunately, it often requires painful revision surgeries to readjust or completely replace the implant. Now, my research offers a much more attractive alternative to this metallic artificial implant. The idea is to target the early stages of cartilage trauma by replacing only the damaged cartilage site and a small portion of the underlying bone with a bone-like ceramic implant covered with a thin layer of cartilage cultured in the lab. This device, once implanted surgically at the damaged site, will be in time replaced with the patient's own bone during the healing and recovery process. So the idea is to have a healthy joint at the end. My work has focused on developing a 3D printer specifically engineered for manufacturing this bone implant in a layer-by-layer -layer fashion. And working side-by-side -side with material specialists from Mount Sinai Hospital, pathologists and orthopedic surgeons, I apologize, from Mount Sinai Hospital, University of Toronto, and University of Guelph, we are currently testing this implant in a sheep model as a precursor to human trials spanning the next two to five years. And I'm very excited to continue working on constantly improving this implant as well as pursuing commercialization paths so that our generation, perhaps some of you in the audience, will benefit from this technology. Thank you.